Hi everyone, Coach Dale here with Caught Order Fitness. And it's raining outside today, so I had to bring it inside. And that's, that's how it's gonna be. But I, I wanted to take a moment and uh, just say that, you know, things are really crazy out there right now. And uh, I just wanted to say that I hope you're all doing well and staying healthy, hang in there, you know, be strong and kia kaha. You know, right now it's super important to maintain your, your physical health along with your mental health. You know, if you, if you maintain your physical health, it'll help maintain your mental health. Um, exercise is such a great, powerful thing for, for overall health. Um, I mean, it keeps your immune system strong and keeps you, keeps you mentally focused and helps with mental clarity. Um, and along with that, it, it just makes you feel good. It's, it's a, you know, a bit of a, a mood uh, booster. So, you know, make sure that you're getting your exercise in, especially if you're um, stuck indoors for a long period of time. Get some exercise in. And if you saw my very first workout video, you, you saw that you can get a great workout, a full body workout, doing exercises with just your body weight. Um, you don't need any exercise or exercise equipment. You don't need any fancy implements. Um, you just got to be a little creative. Um, obviously, the more serious you want to be about exercise, you have to um, start to include certain implements into your training. Um, if you saw my last video, the one I put up last week, uh, I had a rock and I was exercising with it. And uh, obviously, not everyone has a rock. Not everyone just go, can go get a rock. So today's video, I decided to make a sandbag um, from supplies that anyone can have access to. I went down to my local hardware store and got some supplies. Okay, it's very simple. I got a bag of sand. The bag of sand was 50 pounds. Along with that, I bought um, heavy duty duct tape and I bought some, now that's all you really need now. You only need sandbag and duct tape for this um, to work. However, I decided to go a little extra and I bought some tie down straps. These straps um, I'm gonna use as <clears throat> handles. I'm gonna make handles because I really like um, to use handles in my, um, on my sandbags. I have a brute force sandbag, I love it. It's made in the USA and it has handles. And uh, those handles make it a lot more useful and give, provide a bit of utility in, in allowing you to, to do extra or different exercises. So I think it's really useful to have handles personally. But again, you can, if you want just a little bit of extra weight, buy a sandbag, duct tape that thing up and you're good to go. Um, this didn't cost me a whole lot. It cost me less than $25 to get this. Um, it's really inexpensive. You just go down to your local hardware store and buy some supplies and, it's, and you can do it. I did this in, in less than an hour. It probably took me about 30 minutes to put this all together and I was ready to go. So with that being said, here's a look at how I made this do-it-yourself sandbag. All right, I got my raw materials here in front of me. I got my bag of sand, my duct tape, and my tie-down straps. I'm probably gonna start off by duct taping the seams of this bag. I'm gonna leave the sand in the bag. And once I've got a first layer of duct tape on the bag, I'm gonna cut this strap to certain lengths and I'm gonna create straps and put it around the bag and duct tape those down. Those are gonna give me two things. They're gonna give me handles to hold onto the bag so I can do certain exercises more effectively and it's gonna give the bag some structural integrity so that I just think it's gonna help keep the, the sand, uh, the bag itself a little bit stronger. Uh, I'm, again, I have this bag around the sand that I'm just gonna keep it in here, but I think this strap is gonna help me to keep that bag a little bit more, um, a little stronger and just have some structural integrity. So let's see how it goes, here we go. All right, 
I think I finished this thing. One roll of duct tape later, I got my handles on it and it seems to be holding up pretty good. Um, obviously I don't want to abuse this thing too much because it's just a duct tape sandbag, but I think it's going to be perfect for working out with and just doing some basic home exercises with. So anyway, I wanted to show you the finished result. Here it is, 50 pounds of wonderful sandbag. How about a workout? That's a all right, I'm going to do a quick preview of the workout. I'm going to demonstrate every single exercise and then I'll start the exercise from there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set my timer for 20 seconds and have it repeat. So it's going to beep every 20 seconds. I'm going to work for 20 seconds and then I'm going to rest for 20 seconds. And this is the first exercise. First exercise is going to be an RDL, Romanian deadlift, with a row at the bottom. So you're going to start here. Soft knees, keep your knees slightly bent. You're going to bend, keeping your back straight over to about 90 degree angle where your back is flat with the ground. Row, back down, and come all the way up. That's one. That's two. All right? So that's the RDL with a row. Next, I'm going to do a box squat with a sitting press. So I'm going to sit here, get my feet set. I'm going to hold the sandbag at chest level. I'm going to box, squat to the box, press, stand back up, squat, press, stand back up, squat, press, stand back up, okay? Next, we've got a shoulder carry, backward lunge. So I'm going to put my sandbag, get my sandbag to the shoulder, and I'm going to lunge to the, the back. Keeping my form nice and clean, making sure my front knee stays over my ankle and not pushing too far beyond it. Tapping my knee gently to the ground, keeping my chest up. <clears throat> Just keeping my core, core tight, following through. So I'm gonna do about 10 seconds. I'll probably check my watch and then I'll switch. Or what I could do is First round, I can use my right shoulder. The second round, I can use my left shoulder and alternate that way. Next, I'm gonna do an overhead sit-up. <laughs> Sitting down on the ground. I'm gonna press the sandbag overhead and hold it there. And sit up with it. Keeping my elbows locked. I can use that weight to help propel me forward. Next. Overhead sit up, I got front squat. So pull that sandbag up, just that rack position. Front squat. Keeping my back flat, core tight. Chest up. So that's front squat from there, pop and poach. If you watched my rock video, you've probably seen this one. I'm gonna drop and row. So pop up to the ground, row. So popping up from the ground, pushing up, and then rowing that back to my chest. Next, I got suitcase deadlift. So I'm gonna stand. Next to your sandbag, sandbag here, stand up a bit. Keep that core tight. Try to keep your knees somewhat straight. Shoulder, shoulders and chest up, just like that, and then you can switch sides. Same with like the, uh, the backward squat. Next, I got my sitting strict press. So again, get my sandbag up to my chest, Strict press. Okay, last one. We got plank drags. So, I'm gonna set this up right about here. I'm gonna go to a fully extended arm plank. Like so. Spread my legs, my feet, so I have some balance. 
I'm going to reach across under my body and drag. For 20 seconds. That's the workout. Let's get started. Okay, and quick note. You can change the time of your work and rest interval to suit your exercise level. If you are lifting the sandbag very easily, you might want to extend that work uh, interval to maybe like 30 seconds. You work for 30 and then rest for 30. Um, maybe you want to decrease your rest interval. You can do anything you want with this. Just pick something that's some, somewhat challenging for yourself and um, you, know, you know best how to challenge yourself. So make it, make it manageable, but still make it challenging. All right, here we go. <clears throat>
So that was one round. So my recommendation is stop your watch, take 60 minute recovery, 60 minutes, maybe, maybe two minutes if you're really, really tired, but probably like 30 to 60 seconds, and repeat that. Repeat it for as many times as you want, but I recommend at least two times, three would be a really good goal to hit. Four is like, that would be a lot of work and it just kind of depends on, again, how heavy you make your sandbag and how strong and advanced you are as an exercise or a lifter. But yeah, that's, that's round one. There you go. All right, that wraps up my sandbag workout video. Sandbags are a great way to get a really great workout. You can go make your own. Go make your own if you don't have any exercise equipment. You know, a bag of sand, some duct tape, you're good to go. If you want to throw some fancy straps on it, you can, but really not necessary. Just go out and give it a try. If you like this video, give it a strong thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But remember, don't subscribe to mediocrity. My challenge to you is to embrace life and live fiercely. Work hard and work smart. Get fitter, faster, stronger, and take care of yourself so that you can take care of others. Thanks for watching, and Kia Kaha.